Greetings and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, where the Mexican Socialist Republic is attempting to liberate the workers of Bolivia. But things are not going well. Things are not going well at all. Poor Gallardo is currently in the jungles of Bolivia, the stinking uh, insect-infested jungles of Bolivia, attempting to break through the Bolivian bourgeois elite lines in order to liberate La Paz and to bring the nation to heel. But at the moment, we are making... Well, we've made some progress, but frankly, things have slowed to a complete stall as it stands. This is in part due, of course, to the extreme disregard that the Bolivians have, the Bolivian bourgeois elite, have for their soldiers, and indeed, even the jungle itself, for you see, they have ordered all of the various critters and insects and even the cutest animals of the jungle, like tiny little monkeys with tiny little monkey hands and the little curling tail that kind of like wraps around your arm. Ah, oh, they're so cute. All of these creatures have been loaded into the Bolivian artillery and fired upon the brave revolutionary army of the Mexican Socialist Republic and even their legendary bravado and joy is being taxed by this. Look, I think one of them is actually smoking a Cuban cigar as we speak. That is presumably Gallardo himself who has broken out the emergency supply of extra strong Cuban cigars, retreated into his tent and is now currently trying to come up with a solution, a plan that might allow him to break through the enemy lines. Um, how, how are we doing? We are at war with Bolivia. We're kind of like going, it's, it's going 100% in our favor. And yet, and yet, uh, perhaps not. Is that our war participation? Our war participation is only 12%, has contributed about 12% of the war effort. Well, that's just a lie. I mean, the Mexican... Um, Air Force have been regularly bombing and indeed uh, pushing back the enemy forces with their uh, tequila bombs and other such things. The the revolutionary army under the command of, of Gallardo, basically nothing happened until we arrived. We have been the ones to push back the enemy. And at the moment, the Paraguayans are taking all the credit. Well, we cannot have that. We're going to have to have an emergency conference of uh, Gallardo, the most charismatic man alive. Uh, his friends and allies that he has made along the way in the uh, Amazon rainforest, as well as, of course, his entire forces. Where's our tank? There is the tank. We must, the, t the, the, the tanky Maximo brigade must come to our rescue right now. In fact, maybe we've been going about this wrong. We tried to be all kind of like cunning. We tried to, we tried to maximize our tequila supplies and ensure that, um, you know, we kind of like maintained access to this border. But frankly, all, we, all we're doing is, this is just kind of like playing into the Paraguayans' hands, those, those dirty Paraguayans. Um, friends and allies though they may be, because uh, they're getting all the glory whilst we're like attracting all of the, uh, all of the, the concentrated forces of Bolivia. So, let's go with a new plan. For starters, are there any more tanks coming? Uh, we do have another tank brigade, look. Tanky Maximo. Um, you make your way and join the Revolutionary Army. Meanwhile, the Revolutionary Army of uh, Bravado and Joy, under the command of Gallardo, staggering out of his tent, uh, smoke just kind of like billowing around the camp, has, has come up with a new plan. His new plan is weight of numbers. We must bring in the full force of the, of the Legion of Bravado and Joy. The full force must be brought to bear here. Look, we're just going to set the front line. We're going to let Gallardo do all of the planning. We're just going to tell him what we want. Gallardo... There's been enough political um, interference with uh, your war effort. I want you to man this front line and take La Paz, all right? Just man the front line and take La Paz. That's my order to you right now. And you can use the entire revolutionary army of bravado and joy for that purpose. All 18 units. Let's unpause it. I mean, we're going to have some supply issues. There's no doubt about it. The men are going to have to prepare themselves for the fact that tequila is going to get quite low but hopefully the sheer weight of numbers um not to mention just the fact that gallardo's uh, shock troopers of cavalry awesomeness will also come in and join the fight will hopefully mean um that we will that we will be able to win the day plus of course we'll get that uh, that rather useful 50 percent planned preparation attack bonus when uh, once people are in position and have started preparing right you know what gallardo we're just going to leave you to it for the time being uh, and, and speaking of leaving you to it, look, 
the boffins have finally completed. They have completed the nuclear reactor research. We can build nuclear reactors. It is what we're going to do. It's what we have to do. It is the destiny of the Mexican Socialist Republic. Plus, of course, the boffins tell me that they have a desperate, desperate need for vastly more power generation. What exactly they're going to use that power generation for is, of course, classified. Uh, but as a byproduct, they will produce lots of enriched uranium, which I'm told uh, can be used for, um, you know, entirely peaceful purposes. Peaceful uh, and uh, democratic purposes. Anyway, um, that does not choose for us where the boffins are going to put their research next. We actually don't have any recon at all um, of our troops. Also, our land doctrine properly needs to be... Uh, improved mechanized offense enables plus 10% breakthrough for tanks and armor variants. We do actually have lots of armor variants. You know what? Let's take that. Let's keep our, our doctrines progressing and then our, like, um, where are they? These guys here, the Mech Chicos uh, and indeed the Techie Maximos will indeed receive uh, ever greater and more stunning and more uh, terrifying forms of breakthrough which they shall um, rain down upon their enemies. I mean obviously now that Gallardo is fully in command of deciding his strategy here he's almost certainly coming up with something uh, incredibly creative. Look national focus completed. Good let's unpause it again. Uh, already we're getting reports from the troops about the supply problems in Bolivia. We're currently up to 27 of 17, 28 of 8 now, critically low supplies, very low supplies. I think this is probably just going to keep like alternating back and forth here, maybe. I don't know exactly. I don't know what causes it to drop down like that. Uh, but we're going to have to put up with it, I'm afraid. Look, we can get rid of it. It's gone. We don't care anymore. We, we accept the report. Oh, it's come back. Support weapons for more support weapons for the army as well. Gallardo will be pleased. He will be very pleased. Should we give him night weapon? Whilst we're at it, I mean, let's just go all in for for Gallardo's awesome forces. Um, we'll give him night vision goggles for his troops. Land land night attack plus ten percent. Go for it, Gallardo. Um, our special forces will be uh, better than everyone else's special forces. Um, we've got an extra naval dockyard here. Uh, we've currently got destroyers, heavy cruisers, and uh, submarines all being built to supply the glorious canoe fleet of Mexico with uh, new and better numbers and uh, things. We need a little bit more oil from the Soviet Union, if that's possible, please, Mr. Soviet Union. We need to order the construction of some nuclear power plants, though. Clearly, that is like now a national priority. Um, now, as I understand it, there are secret projects underway which need this power. So we'll kind of like concentrate some of uh, the nuclear power stations around here. Should we start with just four? Start with four nuclear power stations. I think we can probably knock these down here. Something else that I want to do whilst I think about it is I want to reinforce this line with America in case uh, the worst happens and they decide um, inexplicably to attack us. So actually, look, let's just cancel all these things. We will build one and then what we'll do is constructions. We'll build land forts all the way along the front line. Like one massive line of awesome land. We don't really need one there. We'll put one there. We'll put two there. We'll put like a couple. We'll make like focal points. Like that, like that. There we go. Many, many, many forts. Uh, but we still, of course, want the nuclear reactors as well. So let's put them back in the queue. Many nuclear reactors, many forts. We'll, we'll kind of like alternate this back and forth a little bit. There we go. I have no idea how long it's going to take to get through all of this. Probably a very long time indeed. But we do have 106 civilian factories. So um, with any luck, they'll crank out those nuclear power stations just in no time at all. It'll just be like, you know, before you even know it. Um, we might as well assign these Infanteria Brabados to the front line and to uh, Louis Farrell here, who has been, you know, stalwartly manning the front line for a very long time, um, basically since pretty much the beginning of time. We've also got some truck chicos with their um, with their mobile hospitals and things. There we go. He's nearly he's nearly at his maximum capacity, um, but that'll keep us nice and, and possibly not actually able to repel an attack as it currently stands. But we at least 
be able to delay them sometime if they indeed do decide to attack. But frankly, they don't seem to be interested in that sort of thing. What are you doing? You were supposed to have come down here and joined the rest of the forces. I can't believe that you have stayed behind after I explicitly told you to go and join Gallardo and his forces. It possibly it's because you have heard rumours of the dire tequila situation. Let's pause it. The dire tequila situation down here um, in... Um, in Gallardo land. Look, I think a lot of forces are nearly in position. All right then, fine. Once he has arrived, we'll assign him to the front line, to the order, and he can kind of like start marching his way down there. And hopefully by that point, everyone else will have prepared and they can initiate their glorious attack. Gallardo with his cunning and subtle plan, a plan so devious uh, and sophisticated in its intricacies that um, not even he fully understands the ramifications of it. Look at all these people with like very bad supply situations. We can't really wait. We can't really stand around and wait for these guys too much. Um, is anybody built up? Some of you guys have built up a little bit of plan preparation bonus. We'll let them build a little bit more plan preparation, but considering we're suffering attrition due to lack of tequila across the front line, it's probably not a good idea to wait for too long. In fact, you know what? Should we just should we just like press the button? Gallardo has sat down. Look, let's let's slow it down here a little bit. Gallardo has has come up with this glorious plan. He's going to dress many many of his troops as goat herders. All of these like men that you can see around here coming up through the mountains are going to be dressed as Bolivian goat herders. He's heard he watched a documentary once about Bolivian goat herders and thinks that he is now an expert on them, um, and that is why he has formulated the plan that he has. Meanwhile, his uh, additional forces up here in the north of the jungle, supported by his new friends, which he has brought with him from the Amazon rainforest, the, of course the Amazons, Amazon warrioresses, um, are going to attempt to storm across the river and uh, break through that way. This seems to be his plan. It, we can see it, like, played out in colory form right there. That's how it's going to, that's how it's going to work. Do we think it's going to work? Do we have confidence in you, Gallardo? How could we not have confidence in Gallardo Magna himself? A man of such incredible bravery and heroic legendariness that everywhere he goes within the Mexican Socialist Republic, flowers are thrown at him in the street. Um, and indeed, babies are handed to him for his blessings and other such things all take place spontaneously and are definitely, definitely not orchestrated by the state. Gallardo, you have your orders. You have your plan. Execute them. The, the plan has begun. Already we have commenced attacks in various regions and glorious success appears to be being had across the front line. We've got a battle being won down here in um, La Paz. Not actually La Paz. Uh, La Paz is right up there. But, you know, it's the La Paz region. Um, it is mountains. It is, of course, the, uh, the men dressed as goat herders all preparing to storm their way up into the mountains and seize control. Meanwhile, if we move down along the battlefront, if we close all of these things, just get a bit of a bit of a better view. If we do move down along the battlefront, we can see soldiers fighting across the entire front line and winning, defeating the Bolivian forces who are just in complete shock and disarray at the, the incredible awesomeness of Gallardo's forces and his plan to conquer and destroy all of his enemies before him. The supply situation remains terrible. We're now like basically down to wringing out like clothing and stuff and, and drinking the um, whatever it is that drips off of that in the hope that there is some small tequila percentage left in those left in those dregs. The men are not happy about it, but they know like, you know, if any man, if any commander in the history of commanders were able to carry his men through such a dire situation as the stinking jungles of Bolivia with limited or possibly even no tequila at all, then it would be Gallardo Magna. He has what it takes and we are eagerly awaiting his uh, glorious victory here. We have no national focus set, that's fine. We don't actually want to set a national focus at the moment. We'll continue to build up our political power and do other and more interesting things with it. Um, of course, the air forces are in. We should probably check to see if there's any way we can supply, uh, supply additional air forces. Look, we've got another 74 tactical bombers ready to come in, deploying from reserves. Uh, we'll give them a few minutes to deploy. How's the front line going? It seems that we're making a bit of a breakthrough. Look, we've got soldiers marching up into the mountains here. Are those our soldiers? Are those enemy soldiers? This might be enemy soldiers being driven back before the goat herder army of awesomeness, which is 
uh, here dressed as always in local dress. I mean, it's becoming a bit of a it's becoming a bit of a theme for Gallardo. Um, it's kind of his go-to tactic, uh, but it seems to work. So you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it and all that jazz. Um, how are our soldiers up here doing? We've got a few reinforcements generally moving about the place. Um, we've got enemy forces. Can we just like take all of you lot and attack here? I know I'm, I'm, I'm interfering in Gallardo's grand plan. Hopefully he won't get too upset about that fact. But it might be nice to cut off these northern forces if we can. And Gallardo may not have considered that in his strategic planning um, exercise. Slash sitting in a tent sealed up with uh, the last remaining reserves of tequila and extra strong Cuban cigars. Um, and uh, smoking and drinking himself into a hypnotic state in which the true answers to the questions that plague the MSR are revealed to him. Look, our planes are actually ready. Let's send them out. Close air support wing. No, we want uh, these guys. Tactical bombers. Uh, we'll have you supporting down here. Because at the moment, I don't think we have any air support in this particular air region. Come on, boys. You know you can do it. I think I think we are breaking through. A few of the a few of the battle lines seem to be kind of faltering a little bit. We've got a guy here who's completely run out of tequila now. His tequila reserves. Basically, when you're looking at the soldiers, the green bar is the amount of tequila they have. That is their that is their available tequila reserves, um, which will slowly trickle back in because we do have a little bit of tequila coming in. The, the truck chicos are desperately trying to ship in as much as they can. Um, where's that tank? Thank you, Maximo. It's all the way up here. It's still slowly rumbling its way through Colombia. It's going to be a while, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be a while. Um, we could maybe, like, add these forces if, if we wanted to. Uh, yes, that's fine. You don't have to be part of your own army. Come! Come down just in case we need additional forces. Look, they'll come with fresh... Uh, he was going to say they come with fresh tequila reserves, but actually, as it turns out, apparently uh, they have drunk all of their tequila. They thought they were just being able to have a party out there, like, you know, out, out on the periphery, still in MSR territory, official MSR territory. They were just kind of like drinking and having a party, like messing about on this river here. And then all of a sudden the order comes in. Gallardo calls for aid and immediately they down their bottles like stagger zigzag like across to their to their trucks and things are these truck chicos yeah stagger zigzagly across to their trucks which they have completely emptied of available tequila um and start driving through the jungle but presumably following the path that the, the tanky maximo has carved for them earlier um progress is definitely being made though i mean look at this we are we are advancing um how are we doing on the old war participation we're up 24 percent to 76 percent we need more we need more war participation than that, my friends. We need far, far more. Fine, just continue to follow your orders. I'm sure Gallardo Magna knows what he's doing. Um, how is the tequila, the, the general, if we take a look at the general tequila availability, a few troops are fairly well stocked. Others are starting to flag a little bit. We've got another winning battle down here, look. 60 combat width to 30. Um, lots of attack going on and indeed counter-attacking going on they also apparently are low on whatever it is that bolivians drink what would be the national drink of bolivia um i i wouldn't even want to hazard a guess quite honestly i mean if it was up to the bourgeois elite of bolivia then probably it would be something like scrambled monkey brains um fermented in a vat uh, made from the um husk of a little pony a cute little pony, a, a jungle pony, which I'm sure is a totally a thing. Um, and uh, and we, you know, we we are going to put a stop to that. You you mark my words. There shall be no more turning uh, jungle ponies into husks and uh, using them to distill various beverages made from other jungle animals. We 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 want we want none of that sort of thing here in the MSR. Um, I can absolutely and a hundred percent and unequivocally, unequivocally confirm that right now officially i think we're actually taking are we taking oh look we're nearly at la paz we are nearly at la paz the troops are marching on everybody i just want you i just want you up ready to conquer la paz look all of you lot can attack across here seeing as you've mysteriously decided to all gather over there possibly they've heard rumors that the um, the tribes people have been left this is basically where gallardo was before he's like the, the, there are rumors that the tribes people buried supplies of um tequila for him and uh, the soldiers have gone looking for it which is a little bit you know 
a little bit um, disloyal of them, but we'll let them off because the poor, the poor chaps. I mean, look at them. They've got like absolutely no tequila in their systems at all. Can you like help them out? Help them out and conquer them? It's actually not a winning battle. All right, forget it, guys. Forget it. Just, just concentrate on refilling your tequila reserves as much as you possibly can. Um, what was I doing? Oh, right, that's right. I've got a military. I mean, I've got a, a I've got a naval dockyard. Let's let's ramp up submarine production. This um, that sounds like it will be a good thing to have. Forces continuing to march on here. Look, let's speed things up just a little bit. It would be nice to finish the conquest of Bolivia this time around, wouldn't it? Um, I think that would be truly, truly a good thing. Um, how are these troops coming on? Come on, boys. We can't let the Paraguayans have all the glory. Look, they still... We're still only up to like 27% share. We need more. More glory. More, more. Look, they've received money. Like, there's been a whole, like, tequila delivery has come in. We're just going to totally press now. Press in. Press in and conquer them, my boys. Um, destroy them before the mightiness of your awesome power. And uh, we shall succeed in um, conquering this country and indeed proving that it was MSR forces and Gallardo himself who were responsible for the capture of Bolivia. There'll be no messing around in the peace conference. If Paraguay thinks that they can um, claim that this was their victory and not ours, then uh, frankly, there's going to be trouble. Especially now the boffins have completed research on the super heavy tank. The super heavy tank replacement for the current tanky Maximos um, is going to be brought into service and it is just going to be uh, incredibly awesome. I mean, so awesome, you probably would just um, poo your pants the minute you saw it. it. That's that cool. We might want regular heavy tanks, actually, and indeed modern tanks uh, in the near future, but we should probably, seeing as we're, we're kind of heavily reliant on artillery, we've already got a lot of artillery out, um, and indeed we, we produce it sort of en masse, um, so let's go with some more artillery. Let's, let's beef up our artillery research. Another step. Good work, guys. Come on now, Gallardo. Um, we really want your goat herding uh, army of joy and awesomeness to complete this. Um, we actually want like most of these people to stay. Look, let's just get one guy to go over here. Oh, just come on, come on, guys. Come, come. What are you doing? I want to attack. You lot attack. You can come in here to cut off their retreat. Uh, you lot can keep coming forward. Yes, indeed. You are wandering around there for reasons unknown. You can come in. I'm taking control now. Gallardo, he's lost control slightly of the um, of proceedings because uh, I don't know why exactly. It's all good. It's fine. I, like we will take La Paz. La Paz, your your time is is now. Uh, numbered your days are numbered we just need to stop here a little bit build up our reserves make sure that the men are freshly fueled up on tequila make sure that the planes um, are all properly available in fact let's transfer this unit to where's La Paz yeah we want it in the La Paz region please focus all of our available uh, bombing missions now around this region just really like degrade the Bolivian that bourgeois elite's ability to fight and command their troops um, and soon enough they shall be ours ours and ours alone I don't really want you to go down there tank if, if I'm honest with you look what why don't if we're gonna attack there let's attack let, if we're gonna attack there look everyone attack there if we're going straight for La Paz then let's just go straight for La Paz no like Nambi Pam being around it's time for the goat herders to go home um, and to conquer home in a fashion which involves them uh, no longer thinking of it as home but instead thinking of it as a place which is in desperate need of immediate conquering in fact look we're about to do it we, we have done it let's quickly the uh, as in celebration across the msr the boffins on the day la paz was conquered have also completed the first operational rocket technology which means that we can build rocket interceptors rocket interceptors one guided missiles um, and indeed we can begin we can commence research on the jet engine technology which is going to give us a massive advantage a massive boost 
in the future for uh, dealing with the various and assorted enemies of the MSR. Everybody attack! Everybody attack! Attack, win, destroy! Um, we're not actually attacking or winning or destroying, but what we are doing hopefully is preventing any reinforcements from uh, moving into La Paz and blocking our conquest of the city. Uh-oh, we're having to fight for La Paz again. We're more troops, more troops into La Paz. More goat herders to the goat herding entrance of La Paz to conquer it in the name of the MSR. It looks like there has been some occurrences elsewhere as well. It, it turns out that we were a little bit premature on uh, making the claim that La Paz had been conquered on the same day as our boffins completed their rocket research. As it turns out, uh, the reports coming out of La Paz were just a little tiny bit premature. As it is, I think it is about to fall now. Pretty much. Pretty soon. Any minute now. Any minute in a minute that occurs moments from now once the conquest of La Paz is complete. They're fighting again. They think they think that they can hold out. The bourgeois elite are now surrounded in the palace of La Paz um, and uh, the, the goat herders are just completely surrounding them with their goats and the battle is over. La Paz is taken in the name of the MSR. Is that going to be the end of the bourgeois elites going to give up at this point and accept that they have been defeated? They are indeed. They have been defeated. And look at that. Our war score is 105 to Paraguay's 45. It seems that the, um, the glorious late rush of Gallardo has definitely uh, tipped the balance in our favour. Do we get both of them? We don't have enough. We need 120 to take both regions. So as we can only take one, I, I'm assuming La Paz is the better region. Military factories six, civilian factories four, air bases, anti-air radar station, tungsten and steel versus, yeah, one military factory, three civilian factories, and that's basically it. Um, fine, we'll take La Paz, and I would quite like Santa Cruz as well, Paraguay, um, if I'm honest, but let's see what you do. Okay, they have puppeted they have puppeted Santa Cruz into its own state. Uh, that's fine. You know what? I mean, we missed out on a military factory and a couple of civilian factories, but it's not the end of the world. We've got La Paz, and that is the crucial thing. The Mexican Socialist Republic has taken one state. Bolivia is Cuerdista was puppeted. Um, this is a new state here now. Uh, the Bolivia is Cuerdista. They are members of the Green Dawn, which, of course, they have inherited from Paraguay which is good, so our faction has grown some more. We can guarantee their independence, we can improve relations with them, we can boost party popularity with them, um, and indeed uh, many other things, which we will potentially do in the near future. Let's take a quick look at Brazil um, and just see how we're getting on with them joining our faction. Our positive is currently 32, negative is minus 50. We're no longer at war, right? So that's got to be a good thing, only now they've got neither they nor we are at war, minus 30. Okay, if you say so. Um, let's see if we can convince them. We're going to guarantee independence. There we go. Um, let's unpause it as we do this. Has that helped? Invite to faction, 37 of 50. Let's uh, do a non-aggression pact with them. The Brazilian Socialist Republic has accepted our request for a non-aggression pact. What are we up to? We're still at 37. Oh, come on. That's got to make a difference. Um, should we improve relations with them? Improve relations. We're still at 37. We need one more positive than negative. Brazilian Socialist Republic has strategic reasons to ally Mexican Socialist Republic. 7. Brazilian opinion of the Mexican Socialist Republic. 10. World tension. 20. Um, so we're still 13 adrift of where we need to be. Come on, one of these things has to make a difference, surely. Um, all right, fine. You know what? We'll, we'll come back to them in a minute. Shall we also improve relations or guarantee the independence of... Bolivia, I mean, what if we decide we want to take them? Um, it's probably not worth spending the spending the political power on right now. We do have free military factories because, of course, we've acquired some new ones from uh, the Bolivian region that we have conquered here. So let's get those to work on... Uh, did we not research Infantry Equipment 3? <laughs> oh, we totally did. How long has that been? Dino Enker is not going to be pleased about this. My friends... I hear today that the workers in the factories of the MSR have been making outdated equipment. This cannot be allowed to stand. From this day forward we shall only make the very finest 
Infantry Equipment Tree. Oh, for it shall be the best weapons with which to defend the MSR and expand our borders. I'm very sorry. I should totally have flipped that over um, the minute that it happened. I wonder if there's anything else that we need to do that for. Let's put some extra um, factories on it. Oh, you know what we should totally do? We should begin construction of super heavy tanks. Super heavy tanks. Uh, many, many super heavy tanks should be constructed. In fact, we could maybe drop down our artillery here and add that to our super heavy tank production. Uh, we need more military factories. This much is clear. We also have towed rocket artillery currently being produced for our various and assorted divisions that use towed rocket artillery. Who those are? Well, quite frankly, I've forgotten and we will have to check into that next time around because clearly uh, we have run out of time this time. We have no template for the super heavy tanks. We'll need to create a super heavy tank division as well. We then need to decide what our next course of action is um, and either we turn our minds finally to the United States on the assumption that we'll need to build for a little while. We'll get our rockets and um, we'll get our rockets in place. We'll get our, our land forts in place. We'll build some rocket interceptors and indeed potentially we'll get a uh, jet technology uh, ready to rock and roll as well um, or if we decide we're not quite ready for that and it is still only 1943 so we've still got a few years left before we have to commit to the ultimate glorious assault on the um, what's going on here there's, there's fighting Canada Canada has landed Canada is conquering lands in the South Americas Canada what are you doing um Wow, I mean, are we, have we managed to convince Canada of the glories of um, revolution yet? 34%, we're, we're kind of getting on towards it. We're kind of getting on towards it. All right, so I mean, things are hotting up here. Clearly, we're going to have a lot to decide uh, in the very near future. We've got Canada invading the South American region down here and, and warring against Comitern um, on our doorstep. We've got, of course, Argentina and Chile uh, and Uruguay as three independent non-aligned states currently. I think these are all non-aligned. Uh, no faction, no faction, and indeed no faction. All are still guaranteed uh, independence by America, though. Um, we've got a couple that are no, democratic, um, non-aligned and democratic so well what does that mean could we could we really i mean these are quite big countries as well compared to certainly argentina is um, and chile's very long could we take these in a reasonable time frame and then move on with the entire south american block more or less under our control in order to uh, face the the terrors of the north or do we just kind of draw a line here and say that is enough for the South Americas for now, the true threat lies in the North and that is where we must focus our attention. These and other decisions we will have to make next time. Until then, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I have been Weird Wizard and I will see you later.